last time we did some farming we completed all the item farming ish um we got Zenobia, we got Harold, but we also got Veil, which is kind of interesting. In this stream, we're still going to be doing Infinity Blade hunting and also Waifu hunting. We just got four more Ox Crystals to pull, or Ox Crystals, four Rare Blade Waifus to pull. I did conduct a chart checklist to exactly what we need to get today. We're not going to get all this done today, which I know for sure, but... How are y'all doing today? It is Frosty RB, of course. You guys should know me by now. Um, so that's the A plan. I'm gonna go ahead and try to finish up the farming a little bit as soon as possible because I'll be honest, guys, farming is not that fun. But once you get the gist of it, it isn't that bad. And I'm trying to find the most efficient way to finish farming as soon as possible. That way we can get to the DLC challenges a lot faster. <laughs> so there is that. And besides the DLC content that we're gonna get in this particular uh, stream and whatnot, it'll be more interesting. And get those ones out of the way. Zenobia is just Zenobia's enemy number two or whatever it's called. So we're not gonna, not gonna get Zenobia's affinity chart done today at all, but it's a good thing because I need to get her stuff. Get to this one is not gonna help us much, but like. There's a, there's a lot of good merc missions out there. What the base stuff though? That's the problem. We'll see what we can get done with Wolfric stuff for now because Wolfric, he can't. Wolfric's affinity is already like maxed out for now until we actually get this keynote out of the way. The sooner we get this keynote out of the way, the better. There is that. Oh, Wait, what the heck? What are these things? I don't think these guys require any nodes at all, if anything. I know capture piles are. As far as I know, not these. Oh, Sacred Grove. I remember this locale. Okay, um... Uh, remember when those gave me a hard time <laughs> torn into the Golden Country? Now, who were we supposed to go against, though? Okay, let's see. It should be down here somewhere. And I know Wolfric needs like super strength and whatnot. That's gonna actually kill me probably. Yeah, that looks that crevice looks really <laughs> really deep. Well I that we triggered the cutscene though. <laughs> like a teddy bear. Not Teddy Bear, uh, he's like the character from Diablo. Uh, what level does this require? Ouch, that hurts. He taking him out, he's a really good blade. Okay. Wait, that just gets- oh wait, what the heck? Few people just spawn in and standing. That was awkward. I get that cutscene. Is this everyone? Not sure. Yeah. Wolfric is checking inside. There was only two people. Thank you. Phew. You really saved our skins there, Mace. That sounds that like Rex. Big fella hadn't been around. We'd never have shifted those rocks. It wasn't just them though. What? It's raining rocks, guys. More rocks? From where? Up Are above. They aimed at us. Yeah. I mean, who else could they aim it's for? It's too dangerous. We have to get out of here. Sure. Let the people go. Nia. Yeah, we're to the rescue. Wolfric. Hurry! Get out of here! I don't know why, every time I see Wolfric, I kind of want to bring my PS4 hey, here. Hey, look over there! A go-go! Oh no, the not these clouds. Who caused the rock slide. So that is the culprit. If AKA we don't move, we're gonna get part. buried alive again! Run! And he just fled? Okay. Come here. We will have words. 
He just runs off. Wait up, Wilfric. We're doomed. <sighs> Why does he have to keep running off like that? Because he's a star from Diablo? Question mark. I mean, I never played Diablo before, so I wouldn't know. But yeah, if you come over here where we crush the rocks, it has nothing. Here's the funny part. How many Wolfricks are there? <laughs> Honestly, even I don't know. Uh, I do not want Nim in the party. Alright, so that's good. Wait, can we... Oh, we can't go back through this way, okay. Yeah, level 80 guys, I do not like these guys. We all know why, they're the same species that always dig for evasion. Every time. Yeah, I think Adrian's the only tank that I know for sure that has like a lot of evasion-y, and then theory comes to the other mine as well. Uh, let's see, wait, what is up here? I know there's like a charger chest here. But what else is here? Let's see, Arachnids. Uh, definitely don't need those guys in the mini chart. Wheat. Alright, Pandora's. Fishy, fishy. Why did she say that? I don't know. Oh, we can't get this one. We don't have any one that could do Ice Mastery. Not at all, guys. Not at all. Alright, let's go ahead and quarter through them, if that's the case. And then what else can we do then? We have that cover. We have to do Wolfric stuff. Pronto. And I don't know who else needs key notes to unlock. Maybe Corvin, but Corvin's affinity chart is like kind of miffy. It's like, how are you supposed to know exactly what to unlock before like you even do it, right? All right, where's that little? Oh, Google's like I think Google's on the other side. And yes, guys, I'm aware there is a unique monster around this locale, but we're not gonna fight him in this stream. We'll focus on him much, much later. As soon as we get Zenobia's keynotes, all of her keynotes unlocked, that's when we'll strike. But for now, go ahead and like kill these things. These are these things you drop four crystals. If you kill them fast enough, they won't spawn enemies. Coral hats, I don't really need them. Although they give me if they give me like critical symbols, that'd be amazing. But nah, critical symbols come like much later. Gosh dang it, okay. So we're gonna go ahead and kill this thing again. Oh, uh, it didn't give me the ones I wanted. Wait, that thing is Okay, that's not that bad. Altar, yeah, that's the unique monster with the whole dancing thing. Kinda weird. Okay, so the Google should be like around this area. At least the corporate was. Oh, what do we have here? Okay, interesting, but I'm not really interested. Tasty Sawchick, Tasty Sawchick patch refill. Yeah, I ran off, of course. Where could he be then? Wait, what the heck? Oh, we're gonna have to fight it then. Finally, we can actually kill some stuff. He's only level 50, so it's not a big deal. I wonder if he can actually make some deaths. I'm actually really curious. Oh, uh, we don't even get to kill it. Rip. Hey, Fog, what's going on, man? How you doing? We're doing uh, mostly key. We're looking. We're mostly going for blade come out, come infinity accomplishment. If that makes sense. We're working on infinity charts today, mostly. And maybe go for a hunt. Still no Cassandra for you, really? Cassandra is not that hard to get, though. You gotta get like. You gotta, of course, fire spy the whole uh, information thing. And more ordain, or was it? She is my last with Akas. Akas, is, well, yeah, Akas is pretty painful. It's a pain in butt to get. But we will talk more about that in NG Plus, guys. For now, though, Tor Akas is not an unlockable character in this playthrough until the very last part. <laughs> so let's just put it that way. Uh, 
I think Ursula might be the last play that we're gonna get in this in this playthrough. If not Cosmos, because those two tend to have like the worst pickups for me for whatever reason. And I don't know why. Cosmos I understand, but like Damn yeah, man, are you serious? Okay, let's see. And the Google should be like right here. Alright, Territorial Robot, where are you? Yeah, I mean, we didn't get a kill. He was only level 51. But yeah. I didn't, yeah, Ursula, for whatever reason, just does not like me at all. <laughs> so. Let's get going. I was legitimately... Oh yeah, Mithra, we're always, we're always gonna go somewhere. Cosmos is easy to get level S. That's one thing for sure. The only thing that's hard to get into, um... Like, S rank is probably the one your very last rare blades that are the weakest ones. Ask him to swords alive, blah blah blah. Alright, so that mission's completed. I actually did that on accident last stream. So that's done. I'm kind of glad that we got that one out of the way because I didn't enjoy that mission as much. Alright, so this is the wolf request. Oh, which reminds me, um. Immovable Gonzel Gonzales, that's gonna come at I'm not sure if we could get that item drop until like later though, because Zenobia's chart. Yes guys, we pulled Zenobia like out of nowhere after one single raid, which made a huge difference. But we're still in that let we're still in that lesser goal though, unfortunately. But hey, what can we do it, right? Uh the Gogo well, I know where the Gogo is, but they don't let they don't spawn until like you actually talk to people. I kind of find really really odd, but eh, what can we do? Stable foods. We're gonna need that for Wolfrix. Okay, development level goes up by two. Not by two up, but at at level two right now. Okay, just spend all of our money. Shop till we drop, right? So we get, so we're spending all of our money, most of it, because we've already done all Shiva's keynotes, so that one is out of the way. You know, the other thing I gotta get out of the way too, wow, alright, <laughs> we just literally just, just ran out of money. <laughs> That's fine, I don't really need that much money in this game. The thing about that is like, what we gotta focus on though is like the Blaze of Vividies. I really do want to get a certain, um... Thing out of the way, but it requires like a couple of uh, affinity nodes. Wow. Wow, you guys should write the greedy monster Nuskalos from like anywhere. I just realized that. You're all mine. All right, so we get this one down out of the way. Affinity symbols are good, but not exactly what I would put on my two slot team. Blah blah blah. All right. So now we gotta go, let's see, one more person to talk to. Honestly though, it's kind of like a iffy wear. Gosh, you're joking me, right? Fleeting aid. I do. But the you're, you're still mate. common garbage nonetheless. <laughs> yeah, because Rock's affinity is not gonna go up, not anytime soon. Unfortunately. But once his affinity goes up, guys, it... It goes up pretty fast. But what's over here? Earth, grant me strength. Your strength. Okay, so level six. But that's fine. Alright. So I got that done. Oh! 60, 60 hours in? We're not even. I think we're only. We're about to be 60, 60 hours in. To fight more. I need to hey, definitely got more. lucky for sure. Oh, we could actually kill Jacob. Sweet, and then we found Jacob in the last stream too. All right, which I already know where he was. I know where most of these guys are. But I do need to double check. Hey, Garbage Free. Should be a big help. That is a um, side quest. I do know where to get this one. But I need to like make sure we activate a certain... Uh... We got to get through a certain node though. That's the thing. Especially with this one. How will I adjust this too? King Dog is the King of Morons. 
Oh, I can't. And Praxis. It was a snap. Okay, her vin Okay, this one okay, we could easily unlock. That's not a tasty sausage and replace it with the, uh, what's it called? Love source. So that will unlock for you guys to like get me. Breeze, you guys to see me rage quit. Yeah, as much as I don't like Pyra, we have to get hers done. Two. Awesome. Be it doesn't behoove me to do the work. That's your job. He wait. His requires a lot of gold? I did not know that. Okay. And Praxis should go up to level key number four. But yeah, go I'm just curious. Let's see. No, problem. If we knew when looking through Xenoblade 2, Love Boy, as well as the first one, and Xenogears. Oh, okay. Interesting. I thought you found me through, uh, like, a, a different from a different streamer. That's amazing. Yeah, we're completing this game. I think this game's gonna take me about three more months to complete. But, I mean, I love this game is my all-time favorite game on Twitch. Even though I'm not the best at it. I still gotta finish number one. And I think the next one, Zenobia, is like in Uriah. Zenobia's missions are like not too long, so it's not a big deal. New Merc mission! Oh my gosh, it feels like I'm getting Facebook notifications. That's what this game kind of is reminding me of. Earth. Ah! Very well. I can't do this. But yeah, so many RPG games to play though. Like, yeah, the Tales games. I still have not finished my first Tales game, which is Tales of Vesperia. And I also own Tales of Symphonia. I really, really want to get into the Tales games because, like, the combat system. While it's not like the fastest this game though, I still really, really enjoy like its combat system. Not turn-based, it's pretty fast-paced. I like it. Still working on X. I've only played 20 minutes of X and <laughs> I just gave up. Oh, the healing mechanic though, guys. Oh yes, the tail stuff is good stuff. Best Fairy is the one I started with and everyone tells me that Vesperia is a good game to start with in the Tales game, which, what the, you just beat the new version of the T, uh, Tales of, uh, the TOV recently. Ooh, that sounds amazing. Treasure acquired. Ooh, boy, what's your favorite, what's, what's your favorite JRPG games of all times? Like, not JRPG games, JRPG series of all time. I, I have, there was someone in my Discord that talks about, uh, he really loves Vesperia. Best barrier, sorry. The one with the BE. And I've been hearing a lot of mixed things about Best Barrier. Because a lot of people say the combat system is like way too different and all that jazz. Come out, but come out. I think the only version I can play it on is probably Steam. It has to be Fantasy Stars. Okay, interesting. Wait, is the community still active though? Because Fantasy Stars is like a really expensive Genki game. I recall right. Yeah, I haven't played much of JRPG games, but I think ever since I started my first year of college, which was like a couple years ago, it was just I, I do like the JRPG games. Just I just don't like reading, but I like watching cutscenes. Like it's like it reminds me a lot about anime. As a nerdy as as nerdy as that, that sounds, but eh. <laughs> now, a lot of people watch the <laughs> watch the vods the vods though. All right, let's see. We gotta go to the Kirk Crossroads, but where the heck? Only has Persona Five. <laughs> You're all mine. And yes, I've only played Persona Five for like five hours, and that was it. <laughs> really good game, though. It was a really good game, but the only thing I noticed so far that's been really weak with that game was the uh, the stealth missions. Well, infiltration with the palaces. I'm not enjoying the infiltration of palaces as much in that game. Xenozaga is all turn based. No! Sorry, guys. Not a big fan of turn based games as much as I used to be. I just don't have the patience. Final Fantasy games has been a bit more active with their battles in the recent games like 12, 13, 15. Okay. I gotta try 12 then. 12 seems like a pretty interesting place. To Turn-based system games really, really irritated me, especially in that one. But not a big fan of like turn-based stuff. Ta uh, strategy tactics. 
Tacticals as well is another yes, really good example. Why I couldn't enjoy certain games. Kind of MMO-ish. Ooh, interesting. Okay. I like MMO RPGs a lot though because they take a lot more skill. There's t timing is a lot more critical in my personal opinion. I mean that's just from what I played, but what have we here? then again this this is coming from the guy that only played like Tales games. Enjoyed the Tales games. Xeno games for sure. Uh, could never get into fun, uh, Fire Emblem though. Fire Emblem was a little. After I played Path the Radiance, I love Path the Radiance by the way. It just the series has been a man man mad to me, but my sister really loves Fire Emblem. Same goes with uh, what is that other uh, JRPG game she loves? I keep forgetting which one. Docs all besides Fire Emblem. But yeah, she just tells me like I I have to give like three houses a chance and all that jazz. Was your favorite game still the best, dude? I have a physical copy of Path to Radiance, guys. Don't go there. <laughs> I have Chrono Trigger. I've already shown that enough. But when you buy Path to Radiance physically on GameCube, guys, it is like you're breaking your bank. I unfortunately got it for 150. This was last year. I say unfortunately though because um like that game is so rare but I don't know guys there's something about playing as Ike that feels so unique all oh, right you know why it's unique because he's a bandit he's not a prince or anything royalty <laughs> not prince or princess he's he's like a bandit um but like I'm not bandit he's a mercenary my bad <laughs> oh my copy from years ago I keep all my games, although I don't have many rare ones. And no problem, Goob. I mean, the good game, it doesn't matter how rare it is, but I really, it doesn't matter how rare the game is. As long as you enjoy the game, it's good. Yeah, Fog, you're probably much older than I am. Like, I grew up with the 64 at Super Nintendo. I grew up with mostly platformers, like Super Mario 64, Donkey Kong Country 1, 2. Uh, what else was a childhood affair of mine? I grew up a lot of fast-paced games. Oh, hey, Goggles. I love how they they have the unique monster logo because like they're related to like this whole whole jazz and whatnot. But yeah, wow, that was easy. Wait, where the heck did you guys come from? I saw two more of them. Wolfric is my bro. Wolfric is like the Wolfric reminds me a lot about Diablo. I don't know why. Oh, here comes the mama. Oh, our foe. I think not. I don't know why I did that. Wolfric just wants to have friends. He just wants to have friends, guys. How can he not like Wolfric? Even though like he was awoken by the spider before. Spider became a driver of Ventura. I find that really funny. Offend oh, go go uh go go. Okay. Let's kill the miniature territory robot, even though these guys were nowhere near related to each other. But yeah, if you guys didn't know, I did grow up a lot of uh, fast-paced games. Like if you guys looked at my like my old vods on YouTube, you guys are gonna know exactly which games I <laughs> you normally play on, on Twitch. But because this is a big project, I'm mostly focusing most of my time on this game particularly. I do know that Thousand Year Door has a big, big pull once we hit through uh, 305 followers. That's gonna be interesting to do because. <laughs> oh, jolly joy. That's gonna bring back a lot of, lot of interesting memories. And I got a lot of talk about that game too. But. There's a lot of ones I gotta finish up too. Like, Xenoblade 1 is also. Uh, is uh, one of the main games I gotta finish. Tales of Hesperia. Oh, what else was there? There's a lot of a lot of good games. It's a good game, but it's like Thousand Year Door is a really bad game to 100% though, in my personal opinion. Wait, he's dead already? Level three special. Okay. I prefer the first one though because like it's a lot easier to complete. Whereas Thousand Year Door, like it took me about. For a GameCube game, it took me a quite a while. I think 50 to 60 hours, which is saying a lot. 
But yeah, once we hit 305 subscribe, uh, it's not subscriber, 305 followers, guys, I will do Thousand Year Door as a next Let's Play project. And after that, well, December is going to be a little bit like a, like a gap year, uh, like a gap month, but there's like, uh, there's a lot of mini projects I want to do in December. Come out, come out. But the big ones, though, tend to be like the JRPG, not JRPGs, like RPGs in general. JRPG are ish. As you know, it does have decision making, but it's not as like, it doesn't have like super separate pathways. That doesn't the only other time I could think about Thousand Door have like decision making was probably when you go against Shadow the Shadow Queen and you become her servant. That's an instant game over. I do remember that portion. But other than that though, I remember I had a lot of frustration with uh back backtracking that game. Yeah, Rome's free. We can't just kill it, even though they fainted. But I love how Wolfric is like not choosing anyone's deci uh, not decision. <laughs> Excuse me, not choosing anyone's sides. I'm still trying to recover from the flu, guys, but we okay. Sweet. Okay, that's gonna unlock his key node f three or four. All right, sweet. My heart beats faster than the beat of the drum. <laughs> okay, Kesha reference right there. I think the only thing I have to do in this game is a few challenge battles. They're pretty, they are insanely hard, guys. There is a way to actually make them like easier, but the problem about that is, is that they are, you gotta have a really good setup, unfortunately. A little farming right there, but I could get three more gold chips, guys, if I really, really want them to, but eh, I feel so lazy right now. There you go. There you go, Wolfric. Everything becomes like much more easier for quests. Strong. You know, you can make so many pop song references with Wolfric. I don't know why. It just sounds really funny. Alright, so but most of his stuff we can send him to Merc missions now. I think the only ones I gotta really This doesn't count as a previous instance though, that's the problem. Wolfric's board games. I don't rest the spell. How y'all doing? We can also sell that too. Sweet. I, I think this one. More. Yeah, Merc Mission number stronger. four. I want to make you. I want to complete your affinity chart as soon as possible, but there's a really cool secret with us in the. I don't care about his chart, but. Warren is growing know, pretty slow. Alright, but he'll grow very- he'll grow surely- slowly, but surely he will bad. Zenobia's enemy number four. Zenobia has a lot of enemies. It's only gonna be 20 minutes. It's not a big deal. We're not gonna- Ah, uh, that no pun with the whole uh, Shiba thing. That's another good example. Wait, yeah, where's the- I'm trying to remember where the hobby shop was. Alright, what do we have here? I don't think I can open this. We don't have. All oh, right, Poppy. Poppy has no no pawn wisdom. I always forget about that. Four crystal sweets. A dog that's around here. I'll still keep investigating because smack a no pawn is like amazing. Not that it's not a great. It's not the best pouch item, but it's a really funny uh, name for it. I mean, who doesn't like who doesn't like hitting no pawns, right? Eat the no-pawn. Here we go. This is where we need to get. Smack a no-pawn. We can afford all of them. Money, money, bye-bye. Ah, rip to my wallet right here. Alright. Smack a no-pawn. Oh, Excuse me. Kind of strength. Talk to Tantanese person. Talk to a Tantanese person. Well, we gotta discriminate now. Uh, seafood, okay, so we can also do seafood, not a big problem. Performer Blake, Performer Blake combo is going to be really easy to do. Uh, defeats, these are multiple enemies. Unique monsters in Lotharia, there's one that we can actually defeat. I think I can get down with studying, actually. Not too intense, like, I could just do, I could just play the song while I do a homework. When I play, like, intense, like, music. OST music though, 
I usually do it when I study for quizzes or exams or whatnot. I think. No, this is the wrong. I this is a wrong locale. I do know this one is relevant to a different oh, yeah. thing, but not this one. Flora heals an aching soul. Gromach, please heal my aching soul for me. Because <laughs> you love saying out before I forget. I'm gonna go ahead and do this one. See side quest. So, you guys really want the best accessories? We are gonna also go for uh, farm hunting as well for these items. It's just that um, we can't get all of them done in this stream because there. I still gotta go ox crystal hunting, which sucks because I don't like using ox crystals. But when we have to do like DLC challenges, though, unfortunately, we have to do the um, we have to go ox crystal hunting, which is something not. I'm not a favorite. It's not a fan favorite of mine. Little Garden Tradition. Okay, this is something you else. You know, I almost missed being a million miles from nowhere. Sheba, why did you take us all the way out here? Oh, right. This is Sheba's side quest. <laughs> Have you no eyes in your heads, peons? Behold, oh, then she said penises. White sands, this crystal clear lake, and the mansion at the lakeside. What better place for the perfect vacation? Is it's this so not creepy. the summer paradise that you longed for? The dream island destination that makes you the envy of your peers? I don't know. Whenever I show my Earthbound copy to people, they envy me. Wait! Why is there absolutely nothing here? Because you got scammed. To think. It cost us a million gold to become the owner of this island. That's what the treasure chest does, guys. You mean to say you bought this island? Yeah. We saved up the money over a long period of time. Not really. We just killed a we bunch of monsters. We intended to purchase an opulent mansion on a small, cozy island, and then we would gather the loveliest women from around the world to our paradise. Oh my gosh, she Eat, is drink, so weird. And be merry. It was our dream come true. Eh? What are we to do with this dinky, dreary, desolate excuse for a landmass? Looks like you've been had. Yep, yep. It's clear that Sheba tricked. I love how it's playing Zeke's theme too. You are indeed correct. We have been well and truly deceived. That Ardanian black feathered fool. He robbed us of our money and made off with it. <laughs> you don't need to be racist, that. Could it have been a Nopon merchant? Yes, it's a Nopon. It seems you can identify the perpetrator. That it's always a Nopon, guys. Right. All we've got to do is get the money back from them. Come on, Chira. Mia. Morag. Bridget. You will lend us your egg. Go to the house if we Let leave us this to his own devices, there are sure to be more victims. We should get this over with as quickly as possible. Oh, our beloved friends! You alone would treat us with such kindness. As proof of our gratitude, let us welcome you into the uppermost echelons of our entourage. Nah, you're a right there. Indeed, <laughs> I don't think I'm befitting of such a position. Agreed. All rejections. It's the thought that counts. Tis a shame, truly. She's trying to hit but on all of them, it matters not. Way. That impudent feathered fool, on the other hand. How dare that dirty, dopey-looking creature toy with our delicate feelings. Justice will be served, we swear. Come, beloved friends, let us make for Alpha Kavanich, the Imperial Capital. AKA Morardain. Ah, peons and beasts may carry the luggage. We expect you to pull your weight. Excuse me? Sexist. That's sexist right there. She was like super sexist. I did not realize that she was sexist until like we view that cutscene. Uh, I'm not gonna do that cut. I'm not gonna do that blade side quest now because that blade side quest takes a while to do, and I need the appropriate stuff as well. I could have sworn there was a unique monster around this locale, but 
I guess I'm wrong because wrong. I know if I had that thing spawned before an aura happened. So there is that. Oh, there it is. That's the unique monster we're looking for. Ladies and gentlemen, Preflex Stur Sturnia. Very weird name, but notice how like Monosoft loves fish. And they make him like super oversized. Yeah, this guy's like the number one guy. Honestly, if you just chop down fish, you'll gladly eat seafood. For dinner, of course. Now, the reason why I have Shiva on Zeke is because he can actually inflict breaks very, very a lot easier than uh, Warag could. That's just my personal opinion, though. Soda is on the island. Sweet. I need to get my info wrong after all. Alright, so I'm gonna see if I can actually milk this guy because. Honestly, since we're not gonna be killing most of these. I mean, honestly, since we're gonna be killing most of these unique monsters, anyways. It's better to just milk them for like more waifus, and why not? And the leftover waifus that we need to get later on, we'll have to go through work missions that we have not finished yet. Which is a lot of them, because work missions take a, a while to do guys. They contribute a lot of time to complete in this game. <laughs> I exaggerate, I kid you not guys, like... 250 hours, I do not regret not completing this game. And it was literally the day before my Econ final. During spring term. Oh, that brings that brings back a lot of memories. Alright, we got bigger fish to fry. Of course he goes to the top well, You know what? I'm just gonna like I'm just gonna kill him this way. That was just some random uh break chanting right there. The song is amazing. I'm feeling it guys. I'm really feeling it. We got bigger fish to fry too. Even I just said that, but I grew up for some seafood right now. Alright. Alright, Zeke doesn't have anyone that can, um, that has, uh, what's it called? Only gold chips on him. I just now realize that. I think I see two core chips in that drop. No, I don't care about fighting you. We are awesome! Wait, where did this stuff- Oh, don't tell me it fell down. Oh, it totally did fall down. Or crystal, crystal, ooh, crystal leaves. I lost about that. Sweet. Power to do what needs to be done. Oh yeah, so this will be done on its own. We gotta talk to more people, unfortunately, and we gotta talk to more people. That's how you get Mithra, That's how I'm gonna get Mithra's chart done. I'm not sure we're gonna get a hundred percent completed in this stream because that is a big number to do, and that's like it's two seven four seven four seven. Just like data yeah, chips and whatnot. Well, so we're back for sure. I don't care about the world. For sure you don't. Uh, we don't need any of those right there. All right, so Zenobia's key infinity is all done. I need to get stronger. She is like the strongest great axe, guys. You do not want to mess with Zenobia. So Zenobia, there's no point in sending her to Merc missions. King Moron on here. Wait to fight again. Huh, you're gonna be sent through Merc missions as usual. I'm gonna start feeling sorry for the bad guys. Yeah, Chicken Nuggets is still gonna be going on Merc missions. As much as I hate to send them to Merc missions, but eh, what can you do, right? No feel, no feelings attached. Oh, uh, let's see. That's a quest. That's uh, something else. We could build some more ice crafts if we choose to do so. Well, hers in a bit. Hmm. Humanoid, I don't know. I don't like. I do want to get this contract out of the way. I guess you're gonna be the Mercury later today. I gotta do some salvaging like a little bit later though, especially when it comes to um certain certain side quests. Yeah, we'll get the clothes and more the uh, um stuff done. I think there's only like what 170. No, there's a little bit more than that. I think there's like 200 something side quests in this game. Wasn't knowing until I figure out I could stand on their wheel or in that to jump with them. No. Alright guys, this is where you're gonna get your A-Bank cards. A-Bank cards are gonna be so helpful. And we need to milk this guy for legendaries. And it's much faster. Oh yeah, do you need um I'm trying to figure out where to find it though? Nicola! Alright. Top one. Did he just Oh no. Oh no, he's gonna self-destruct, is he? Alright, we'll just overkill him. 
I was trying to milk him, but like he doesn't want to give up his Avant cards. Legendary levels. I think there was a way for me to do it. I'm trying to figure out which locale though. Oh, I love Adeline. She's so helpful. I'm so glad I got her in the very beginning of the game. Unlike my first playthrough. More, I just finished her off. Just finished him off. Swirling Dragon. I see a ledger. Oh, he did not drop it. That was a shame. He dropped the rare ones, but not the ones I'm looking for. Yeah, we're gonna have to kill him later for uh for draw mox for draw mox affinity chart. All right, I just want him out of the way. Four crystal. This is what you guys really, really want on Rex, by the way. The only reason why I'm far you choose to do so, although crit healing is like more beneficial to Rex. Than Wait, for two that skills makes a huge difference. And by the way, in here is what in here has like a tech memo, a tech uh, booklet for one of Pope. Pope is uh, tech manuals. Five. That is a really satisfying feeling. You guys know what I'm talking about? The thing that has like spike damage? Oh yeah. Cutting that dang power cord, I had trouble with that. Even on this playthrough compared to fighting against Malas. Yeah, that's where you're gonna find your crit symbols, guys. Look at him. That's one of the few unique monsters that returned back from the first game. Just a little fun fact for you guys to know. He's not as like trolly like the territorial robot is. We will kill the territorial robot, just not in this stream. All right, critical symbols shouldn't about be this difficult to get this, against this guy. I did. I defeated all of them before the easy mode existed. You got it easy. Yeah, I got it easy a little bit, but it's not too too crazy though. Zenobia. Yeah, I have it easy, but like still, always have been, always will be. Uh, he drops only two cores that time. That's fine. I gotta keep an eye on um, on their HP though, because I know they they're gonna die against this guy. All right, launch, smash. Oh, what's that then? Oh, what's Wolby? That's a okay. That's an interesting chip drop, but not what we're looking for. Crit symbols rare. Eh. It's meh. You know, this song does start to pick up. It starts to grow on you, but it's not as great as the uh, the one that you attacked with unique mons. Alright, come hey in. We got a critical symbol, but not the legendary form. It didn't connect? <laughs> you don't say. Three is what I recommend for this guy, though, because if you guys combine uh, critical symbols with uh, Omega Drives, guys, you're gonna have a really crazy setup for party gauges and damages. Ah, uh, trust me guys, trust me, it's gonna be a lot of fun. <laughs> Alright, what'd you drop? Rare Core Crystal, Common Core Crystal. You're dropping a lot of Core Crystals, which is great and all, but... Gonzalez, come on. Oh no, your son's gonna help help this too? What level are you? You're just 17. You know what, I'm just gonna like, kill you. Just just don't get in my, just don't get in my way. <laughs> Punch, just poke him. Punch him in the face. All right, now he's enraged. All right, Wild Wave. I forgot he had that. Armor fails. Yeah, okay, we got two breakers with two legendary beta scopes. That should be, he should be being break by now. Anytime now, guys. Although Nia's not your, she's not the most reliable breaker though. That's the thing. I think I have more of a chance of breaking with Zeke than I did with her. All right, launch him. All right. Good, good. All right, what's common core crystal? This guy's not good for core crystal hunting. I just realized that. Doesn't look like he has the thing what we're looking for. It's really good too if you have the right setup to set off the uh, extra damage. That's also true as well. It's just that like um, most people go with Omega drives, Omega drives, and um, what's it called? Crit symbols. First symbols is good too, but depends on what what your situation is. Dang, I missed it. I missed that timing. I was a little bit too late. But yeah, it depends on the situation. Most of the DLC side quests though, 
I think taking uh, critical. Is that? Oh, okay, for a minute. I thought that was Doom for a minute because that looked very familiar. But that's just a debuff. Fatal beat. To the beat of the drums. But yeah, it depends. Everyone's situation. Everyone's setups are like very different though. The only DLC challenge I really, really despise though is the jellyfish one. It's a very, and I think it's a really misleading difficulty. Did we seriously milk out everything that you had? Titan. I don't care about Titan. Really. I recognize guys. Today. What's going on, Pixel? How you been, bro? Chip. Oh, we got. Wait, was that a Hunter Country? Five? That's actually really good. Guys, Hunter Hunter Chemistry 5 is a really good Ox Crystal. Damn. Ben. Oh, what is Wilby? Yes! Critical symbol. <laughs> I was gonna call him Territory Robart. Gonzalez gave us a lot of core crystals. Holy cow. But yes, we got the last crit symbol. I'm so happy with that. Alright. So these guys will only appear, that super boss especially. Will only appear when you kill when you've actually you guys want to kill the minions first. And then go after the big guy. Because this guy drops a lot of good stuff, actually. We need milk them we need milk this guy out if it he becomes super fragile. But yeah, when you call upon his tombstone as well, which it's some really bad luck, unfortunately. Of all the things, I got a bail, which has a very low difficulty compared to Ursula in this file. If you guys don't know, I have file number three. I still don't have my third Pity Blade in this game, which is kind of funny because Pity Blade should not be this difficult to pull. Alright, he's done. I just wanted to drive a combo because I'm a, a dirtbag like that. Sure, that's cute. Let's go ahead and drive a combo this guy. Exact same design. Wait, is it this guy? The uh, This guy right here? The Grandum Slaughter? I, I don't even know how to pronounce his name. I'm not even going to try either. All right, sweet. I'm gonna launch everything. I love milking monsters because they just give me some graceful stuff. Although he doesn't give me what we need. Wow, that's a, that's insane. All right, fine. If you don't want to be toppled, I'll just keep toppling you. You know you're invincible. All right, someone's gonna inflict break on him again, so it's not a big deal. Ooh, cycle blaster. So this is a Skellix design, or is this like? something completely different because I know that like this is a different I know this is their own monster species but oh no you're gonna call the Power Rangers oh my gosh I should have guessed he called two more Power Rangers guys I should have known that all right just kill this guy bam we don't need to deal with him anymore ultimate sh ultimate shields all right we don't really need it arc five roll drop trees okay that's a good one I'm gonna go ahead and kill this guy because I don't want anything to interfere with me. Alright, Power Rangers, come over here. We're here to kill you. Double spinning your edge. What do they give me though? Wold Tree War. Okay, Wold Tree War is not that great. It's meh. I don't really care about it. It's too. Let's see. It's too human to be a mechon. Perfect skeleton size, not an X design you see. It's the same, but general same as Arc design. Okay, yeah. I was gonna say this guy though I'm gonna milk him he gives me some light chips he gives me um Omega drives Omega drives are uh, legendary even though we're not getting them right now but and eh. wall tree drops I was gonna say that for the uh, the highest level monster of the entire game but I don't think it's worth it now it's like this guy has a little bit less HP than I thought oh boy jolly joy though all right, before you guys, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And why not just crack some core crystals while we're at it too, right, guys? I'm gonna show you exactly how evil pulling Ursula is. Cause he hate, she hates me for whatever reason. All right, three three ninety six percent damage, two seventy six bonus. All right. I know I'm not going for damage battling, but she might just trigger the treasure wisdom. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and finish him off. 308 bonus. What do you drop? Sunlight chips. Okay, that's a good one. Uh, auto bouncer. That's a good one too. Omega drives on the first try. Wow, that's amazing. 
Oh yeah, I forgot about these guys. Always remember to keep your Merc missions on guard, guys, because they're gonna come very, very helpful. Sweet, Persephore. A new way is open to... Bro, I didn't get a notification for stream. Oh no, dude, Spickers, what's good, bro? What's going on? This is good. War oh, Warius leads it. Okay, Warius is really cool. Warius is probably one of the few events. All right, we're gonna go for no pawn cooking. Speaking of, what else the later? Ricky's the only no pawn I know. Ricky's the amazing no. Pawn. All right, four left, guys. Got this. I feel like Perun would be good on Zeke personally wise. Jesus, Brickles Christ, dang. And you call this a pity blade? Ugh. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Electra, my third pity blade of this file. Electra, Lightning class, Shield Hammer. More, she's more built for agility for Shield Hammer. Believe it or not, guys, it's kind of funny. Um, if you do equip your stuff with like Ether shoes and yeah, this is the pity blade. I don't know how we pulled Newt over this girl. It just sounds really weird, but... Yes, guys, if you're going for all agility to be built for Morag, this is definitely one of the most essential with uh, Aegeon. Plus, you can, like, combo it between Lightning and Walter. I don't remember who the third agility blade was, but... She's good for agility. She holds aggro... Less? She, she's a weak... She holds aggro a bit weaker than some of the other top classes, but... If I were to consider her to be placed in the shield hammer category, she would probably be the... She's tied between her and Finch, but... Finch is used for, for like, blocking. Blocking builds. Well, that's that. Jeez. Electra of all things. Why'd you have to be pulled this late? <laughs> I'm not gonna be using her. Special 1 plus, that's a good one. Now I'm thinking about it. Wait, well, guys, if you, like... Push any enemies down the hole. It's really, it's really hilarious. You've come a long way, Rex. Azurda has raised you well. Rex has always. You know, he finally gave me the medal. I'm having confidence to actually get it. We're gonna go ahead and get rid of this common garbage. Oh wait, is that it? Yes. We got another one. Sweet. It is top secret, Ardanian. I'm gonna do Wolfric's quest because this quest is like super easy. Don't give him honey. We just did. Easy peasy. Blah blah blah. Quest has been completed. This is I believe this is the only quest in Vortia. At least for the cliff side. Those items are very helpful by the way. Alright, so here keynote went up. Sweet. This is no pawn wisdom. I'm pretty sure he would. He's a sick weirdo. <laughs> Compassion. Well, that's not gonna help because core doesn't open core crystals. What Talk about the here? ingredients of low source at the top of the tower and super upper area of Tantal. Yes, I know where it is for sure. Make low source. This one's very, very simple to do. Very helpful locale, which I actually do want to get because low source is the best item in terms of like increasing like the completionist aspect because. Affinity charts require like lo like high levels of uh, frost levels. Harold's an exception though. Your music is a second behind so mine. It's killing me. Is it really? It's funny then. Feel the heart to hearts. Oh really? We just have to go feel the heart to hearts. That's interesting. I'm not a bit. Oh, I mean Harold's a. All right, that's done. Flower boy, you're growing. Just, I'm, it's probably a bad mistake, but eh, I gotta deal with it from now on. As a, uh, as what's it called? As your username from now on. Fog wants to become Perzavar. Okay, no one has taken Perzavar because we know Perzavar drinks alcohol. Derp the derp. We gotta kill these guys later on. I do recognize that species. Where in the heck is the thingamabobber? I'm looking for a certain entrance to go up there because around here is like really weird. You this is where we get a treasure chest. Hmm. Yes, I see. <laughs> Ice mastery. Alright, yeah, okay. We'll call you Pandoria from now on. For sure. 
So first of all is Fog, and then Pandoria is Pixel. Got it. And unfortunately, we can't take out Pixel from our party because he's a Legendary Blade, so... That's also another thing. Wait, we're gonna have to start farming with Zeke. As soon as I can get the farming stuff, like, completely down with him. Because it's taking me... It's taking me a while to get readjusted to it. Oh yeah, there we go. This is exactly where we need to go. But we need Ice Mastery for this, guys. Yeah, we're stuck with you, unfortunately. Calm your mind. Structural analysis in progress. There. That should do it. I do know that. Horizon music's alright. It's not too bad. Don't you have chess, dude? Oh, uh, he does not have... He has the deed, but not the chest. That's gonna come super helpful, by the way. Indeed it is. Alright, we've already reviewed this already. I just need you to talk. Interrogate. I mean... I don't know why girl talk is really required for this, but okay. It's so weird. Oh, this is DLC side quests. That's what this is. Alright, your thing's gonna disappear. What do you have to say? Ursula, Morag, and Bridget currently hold the stack of in the loop of falling cliffs. <laughs> they fell the cliffs the most. Morag, uh, yeah, Morag is definitely guilty of that for sure. I do know what this guy requires. I know he needs money. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and send out most of those things. Alright. Let's see. Progressing through, let's see. We need to find chest item here. Chest sets. I think we just need a no pawn one. I think that's the one they want, but I'll just buy these re the recipes just in case if they're so picky. Or service. Alright, we got your chest piece. Yeah, she requires a no pawn chest piece. Uh, I have your no pawn chest piece. Don't you want it? We're gonna go ahead and do this one then. Let's rest the spell. Let's get going. They're actually over there, but maybe I should have fell down to the skyscraper. Oh. Oh. Wait, he didn't make that noise. Wait, really? Okay, let's see. I know there's a unique monster that we could technically kill, but I'm gonna hold off of that for now, actually. The unique monster is actually like somewhere around here. You're all all right, what do you have here? Rusted old watch. That was it. You can't count as a side quest. What the frickles? Okay. Well, that sounds very tempting. I'm gonna try this one. Taking off side quest for a very good reason. Derp. Let us go. So who does? Wait. Well, I know why people don't like Vesta's affinity chart, but it's not that bad. Compared to like Ursula's, just in my personal opinion, I might be missing from something from more. Back again. Use a shotting gun. Just waltz in unannounced. Why don't you? Oh, sorry. Why not to? It's just that Vess asked us to fetch some firewood. Oh, she did, did she? Well, good on you, kids. You can leave it over there for now. Hey, what was that you were up to just now? Huh? What was what? Drugs. Well, it seemed as if you had yeah, swallowed someone... something in your surprise. Yeah, this one's Nothing like... Nothing gets past that. you lot, does it? I happen to be eating an Orion delicacy. Chocolate, <laughs> they call it. Chocolate? Is it tasty? Tastes like poop. Oh, you have no idea. Creamy sweetness with a note of bitter almonds intermingling in perfect harmony. One bite of the stuff, and you'll never go back. Sounds like something it from Sounds feed. so tasty. Tora already losing mouth water. Whoa, Tora, Don't calm down, to calm it. down. Dear, oh dear. Don't get wet, Tora. Mabon, how old are you? Eating chocolate in secret again like a naughty school child? Vess, no. It's not what you think. Smuggling drugs. I don't think so. 
How many times have I told you? You mustn't eat it all at once. Oh. Well, you see, the thing is, I... You We're know, that dress has got quite a present sometimes, doesn't she? You can say that again. I'd hate to get him a bad sight. Here, fishy fishy. You can't eat so much of this stuff. Oh, your health is going to suffer. I'll, I'll take by her these, thank you very point. much. Oh, but... But... There's no use looking at me like that. I'm not falling for your tricks ever again. I'll stuff them. I'll Spoil stuff sport. them good. Stop them until no, Kirby can't take them Don't be like that. Whatever will our guests think? Yeah, we're judging you guys Come hardcore everyone. right now. Dinner is served. Are we gonna get dumplings or um, mandu? I've always pronounced them as mandu, but dumplings sound weird. Ooh, rice cakes. Are these dumplings? I remember the whole episode of Pokemon. Dumplings. Where Ash caught a rice cake. Anything else? Where is rest of food? I'm afraid that's all there is. So we've been dumped with nothing but dumplings. Correct. It looks just dumplings. Somewhat made. edible. After all, they are my specialty. Like how torn a DLC. You I'm just trying to his field skills activate. Really? And our proper reaction. Second best thing it is, I man. ever tasted. Only second best? Yeah, first one being chocolate by a mile. Well, yeah, torn in the DLC, Jin just sighs when he says feels activates. Oh, do give it a rest, Mabon. It's bad manners. Ah, please feel, feel free pain. to tuck in. Help yourselves. Hmm. This delicious. Whoa, Tora, slow down. Listen Wait, what? Tora. What the heck? It's not our fault. Now I'm getting hungry for this. Just enough salt. Their eating animations are like really weird. I don't know why. Need Pyra slash Mithra. Yeah, because they're the main character. Although, kick Pyra out. We'll keep Mithra all the way. In my personal opinion. Fon uh, we were just there. Fonza. Can I I'm pretty sure I didn't block them. Yeah, I didn't buy them. But I got the fruity rice ball. Which is from the uh, the Merc mission. I know you guys need super cakes on what else you guys need. Snow prickles. This is like so easy. Once you get the snow prickles, this thing is like... It's gonna fill up super fast. Alright, sweet. I got that one done. I just wanted to get this one out of the way. A helping hand. That's a Pokemon move. I've never heard that myself. Alright, so the hobbies one's good. Objectively, the best method of traveling plane is Nia with Dromok equipped. That's a good idea. Maybe we should do that. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and talk to her. Just get Mithra's thing over with. Talk to girls, of course. We gotta talk to a lot of waifus, of course. Alright, let's see. Dromok. I love this. This is just so cool. I don't know why I find that real. I'm, maybe I'm just a child, but it's a little cool charm to it. Chomp churros. I'll just take whatever you guys have. Everyone complains about the divinity chart. That's legitimately the only reason. Alright, let's get this one done. There you go. There's all the chocolate stuff you need. It's great with Dromok. Too bad we can't ride Shiva's bathtub. Shiva's bathtub would be so weird. Alright, and here's her, uh, right, here's her fruitcake. Is that an angle? Wait, Nia's, like, being bent at an angle. How does Dromox back survive like that? It's beyond me. Or back, okay. That would be amazing, and then just go skinny dipping, but she, she sees male- she's sexist. That's the problem. Oh, yeah, yeah, he's gonna just eat them. He's gonna know about this, by the way. Alright, blah, blah, blah. I don't care about reading text. Gosh dang it, we already know what's gonna happen. 
Alright, look for gold brace. Oh, okay. Brace, golden braces. I think the one that we're looking for is a Mora or Dane. Why did it get so and then we're gonna kill Jacob later. Let's go. Wait, this is where Jacob is located. Jacob is actually gonna appear out of nowhere, by the way. He's like level 30 something. Right here is where he's gonna spawn. Hey, Jacob, where are you? The night theme is, sounds so peaceful, too. I like the night theme, too. I figure, like, somewhere around here. Unless I got the timing wrong, which is very, very unlikely. Oh, we have the... Oh, that's where you found the gate key. I didn't actually not know about that. Yep. Oh, Praxis' Divinity went up. Oh, that's a bit... Yeah, if you want to get three, scary. guys... You gotta like do these, you gotta do these right here. That's the main side quest you gotta know. You're gonna use the Monado, Monado Cyclone against you. And unfortunately it just happens. What's this though? Is this the thing that we're looking for or is this something else? Treasure acquired. All right. Oh, this is, oh, this is both right and left. I could have sworn he appeared. I think this is him right, right over the horizon. Just see a chest come out of the ground. Yeah, you did, did. You just did, man. And we're talking about the regular chest, by the way. I'm going all in. I won't even the flipping towels. Yeah, towels suck in this one. All right, guys. Demon shell, Jacob. I believe this is the. I believe Zenobi is the only one that requires this infinity chart. But hey, I mean, he's really not that bad. You can only find him the lore type of this locale. After that, this locale has no purpose of anything, which is a very common thing with, uh, with Mora Dane, because Mora Dane doesn't really have anything for most of its locales. It's just like, once you explore it, there's reason no, no reason to come back here. That kind of thing. I just realized, he is the only one that has break, but eh, I don't care. We're gonna go ahead and kill him. Remember Pixel, I went against Orion yesterday and Crimson Derek at the same time. So we got we went against two unique monsters at once, which really sucked by the way. Alright Adeline. Just in case if he drops any rare core crystals, which I seriously doubt. Eh, you never know. Go Pixel! Finish him off. Overload third of Thunder Beam. <laughs> Wow, half of the stuff literally just went on, on the ground like that. Hey, Pixel gained an infinity. Sweet. What is this? What is this? Assault Stone? Ah, Assault Stone is useless. I don't need that. This theme is so good. How much do you guys want to bet that this has like a comic or crystal? Wait, this is a legendary chest, really? Uh, never mind, this might have a rare one. Yeah, it has a rare. Usually, like, those ones have, like, rare core crystals. Throw, uh, let's see, Zenobia gain an affinity. Just about using oh, well, I remember where this is located. We're not gonna go there for a while. Cute. Start Dragma. Let's get going. I remember him. He... He's a super boss, but then he's just, like... Well, he's good for a certain challenge. I'll give you guys that, for sure. Oof. And then, oh yeah, and the Prentice Benef. That's from, uh, what's it called? In, um, the Crater. The Aegis Hammer. Oh yeah, we barely did this one. Sweet! Awesome! That's gonna give us the rank number two. Alright, just, just upgrade my ranking. That way we get this one done. Because I do not like this transition. Blah, blah, blah. So we can... I'm assuming after this one, we could send two squads. Yes! And that also affects Rock's affinity as well. Jeez, that took a while to do. Glad I didn't need to look that up. Alright. New jobs. Tweets. Rock's affinity. Keynote at long freaking last. This ah, new possibility. New possibilities, you don't say. So yeah, Rocks of Infinity Chart becomes a lot easier. The, the only problem is, is the keynotes. The keynotes take forever to do. Not done. We could send two Merc mission groups, which is amazing. All right. So with that being said, Infinity notes are going to become a lot easier to do. 
Send out the squad. The squad one's been dispatched. Blade is crazed. Three males and one water. Royalties. That's not gonna get my infinities. Sweet, but that was stupid easy. Hey, you meaty carrots, because I feel like it. Well, okay. I'm gonna go ahead and refine that. I wanted this as well. Thick mall. That's gonna come very helpful for like our attacking man. Nothing wrong with overgrinding, to be honest. Rock. Rawhawk. And Zenobia, I want to put something on you, but the thing is, though, I don't have anything I need to put. I mean, she does, but like, I believe you just talk to this guy, and he'll give you like some kind of list of who you who you killed so far. So you can separate it by Titan. This was this goes from like like the highest level to the lowest, or the lowest level to the highest. These are the ones I killed so far. You know. Haven't been uh, unique mod hunting because for obvious reasons. Although that should say spring, which I don't understand why why there's no spring to it. But I believe it's only unique monsters that you've killed in the record of time, though. Cause notice like how spring doesn't have a record, but I've already killed them at some point. That's the that's the thing too. Uh, let's see, find Amorthia, and I killed these guys. Okay. But yeah, there's a. I don't remember how many unique monsters there are in this game. There's a lot of them, that's for sure. Alright. I'm gonna go ahead and collect your Merc mission just in case. Merc missions are like. so iffy to find though, but eh. What to deal with that? Alright. Let's go into Walter, guys. Zeke just smashed an enemy two times in a row. I gotta enhance my arts. I, I always forget about this. Uh, rolling smash. That's the thing, though. That's the thing you guys are gonna have to keep reminding me of. Upgrade your ships. Shoot. Only because, like, I always forget to upgrade my stuff. Uh, great axe. Yeah, I'm gonna need to upgrade some of this because we're gonna be mostly launching. I don't use anything else on Zenobia with Rex besides, like, a launching move. Mega Lance, meh. Alright, healing halo is good, but I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade to level 5. Because, like, <laughs> she doesn't get the breaks off that I really need her to. And knuckle claws. I just wanna go ahead and, like, max this out because, like, the explanation points is a little bit annoying to deal with. Alright, get this one done. Wow, we're, like, so close with them with more X stuff. Chrome katanas. And the shield hammer. Um, not much to upgrade from the shield hammer. Just keep generating aggro. Tora barely fights in battle, but he still gets weapon points because it's, you know, a team effort or whatnot. That's all good. I I guess I'll be honest though, I'm not ready for midterms at all. <laughs> I got midterms like the week like this week I gotta start studying for midterms. And then the week after, or this upcoming week, it's midterm studying. And then the week after, I have midterms. So, I don't understand half the classes I'm taking right now, but like, I know one of them is like a take home and Calculus 3 and Calculus 3 is, is gonna kill me for sure. But eh, what happened, man? All right, topple extension. I'm gonna definitely nice need one. that. We're almost done with the infinity chart. Holy cow. That's about that. Worthy is great for fish farming. It is indeed. Uh, same goes with Uriah. Uriah is also good for fish fun fish farming too. Alright, I don't need that surprise attack. That one is not that great on Nia. That takes care of Wait. That. Uh, increases healing. I do want her to increase this. As it should be. We're almost done with the driver infinities. They're just they just come naturally, guys. Aura. Good one, Pope. He just needs one more. Wow, wow. wow his, his quotes are very lame, to be honest. But nonetheless, nonetheless, let's see. I do want to do this one. This one's a lot more critical the than anything. Justice is throbbing. I know he. I know he loves. Oh, that's hilarious. Oh, uh, let's see. Do I want to do the? I think we could do this one. Nice Storm work, and everyone. stress. 
<laughs> Rock knows what we're talking about. We're awesome! I adjust us, came back. Sweet. Excuse me. Garbage free gain infinity. Wow, that's really impressive. Alright, so this one requires number three. This one requires number four. Meat. Wow, Godfrey actually likes. What's with all the rare blades like in the meat? That's really beyond me. Uh, driver combos. Okay. Lauren is really growing super slow. <laughs> I'm proud of him. There are subtle flavors, even in the heat of battle. Okay, you're a dessert guy though. That's a different story. Uh, I don't know what this is. This is like really weird. How much health do you need? Uh, it really depends. You could use the HP modifiers if you need to for common blades. If you really, really need to, you're Raya. I love your, uh, every time Pixel talks about Ursula, I keep getting super comments, not too bad. But then again, this is legendary. Garbage tree has been obtained. <laughs> Who is your boy, man? Who is your boy? Who is your boy? Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, man, anyone clip that? There's Cosmos. I'm glad she's not the last rare blade. So it's a dry. Yes! Ladies and gentlemen, this is Cosmos. 0.1 chance of being pulled. We're gonna be her awakening at the end of the stream, so don't go away, guys. She is the most powerful rare blade in the entire game. Tied to Harold, actually. Well, most people say Harold, but they're both Ether Cannons. She is actually originally from a different Zeno game, and I'm not gonna lie, guys. I'm so glad she's not the last rare blade because it would suck that I actually lose my save file all of a sudden, and then. Yeah! I'm so happy with this. But you can. But Cosmos, though, even though she's so hard to pull, guys, she has a really easy infinity chart. So Ether Cannon class, Light Attribute, um, Attack attack Class, of course. Very, very reliant on raw damage. You can also put a crit built on her, but... Guys, go with the raw damage with this one, because... The crit stuff comes naturally. Oh my gosh. Not as, like, my great as my first reaction, but I'm so glad I did that. Just got freaking <laughs> garbage train. You're out here, <laughs> no problem, man. I love how she uses uh, Zara's as guns. Yeah, definitely, dude. Her ether cannons are crazy though, and she has she has exclusive called metal arithmetic because not many people know how to do mass and mass and like auras. But heck yes. Oh, garbage tree came back. Speaking of devil. So here's my tip of Cosmos. We'll take on Send her to Merc missions and you're gonna fill her affinity chart pretty fast. Sweet. Look at that. Wolfric is becoming very nicely too. Yes, I love it. I love it. Lauren's growing. Yes. The ally justice for Shield hammer wait, you want shield hammers now? I got her pretty er I got her pretty early. Yeah, it this is how Alright. Shiba's team came out, so we got the contracts. How'd you all pass this dang switch? <laughs> so that's the thing. Bitbull, that will be the leader. Definitely, but I think farming is the best way. For like, if you're going for item farming, I think it's the best way to actually gain a lot of EXP. I mean, right now, I'm almost max level because I've been doing a lot of item farming. Plus overkills and whatnot. Uh, these clowns again. I don't care about your text. Gosh, dang it. Grind against two. Like, anyone really, like, for if you're going for rare blight hunting especially, you can knock two stone, you can knock up two birds and one stone. So meaning... Oh. Where do we go from here? I'm always gonna do some side quests, but... to get the full enjoyment of this game, you don't need to do all the side quests. That I can guarantee you guys. You have anything you for me? Oh, you don't have the deeds. So yeah, I need to grind, rep, and X. All right, where is 
Oh, this is the guy that we're gonna talk to. I mean, if I ever play X for you guys, I'm gonna definitely need some help because it's like... It's, it has a really weird pacing. That's the one thing I could definitely say. This, I, there's so many games to play, yet so little time. Investigate. Wait, it's the comb head again. Which reminds me, I do know there's an Ardanian soldier bot, a unique monster. Back in, back in Torik off. If you play X, explore it absolutely everywhere. Oh my goodness, that's probably something I'm probably not able to do efficiently. Unfortunately. Blah blah blah. We gotta keep talking to people for Mithra's affinity chart. Unfortunately. Uh, let's see, gather some information about the thing. Wait a minute, wait a minute. A dead woman? We could talk to her. You're still stuck. Fall off the broken stone pathway right before Orion. Yeah, you're definitely gonna need to fall down some serious quests. It shouldn't take away that much HP though, especially with your with that level. And after that, you gotta like zigzag back, or zigzag like down as you go. It makes the game a lot easier. All right, here's the funny about part about Mad Dog. You can't get a side quest from him unless you have more, I guess, your team. So that might be it. So you gotta like talk to Mad Doc as Morag and he'll give you the side quest. Don't need to heavily suggest it. Oh my gosh. I really, really want to go unique monster hunting, but the problem is I don't feel motivated to do it. Nope, we're not sending that side quest. And unless you guys are talking about X, then that's a different story. Alright. I wait, this is the clown that we met back in Indol. Yes, I remember him. He's the one that launched war. Chapter 11, the number of justice. Alright, I just love doing that. I, I am so stupid. Made it to the Skellix. The Skell yet. Yeah. Rip. Alright, we gotta talk we gotta report back to Jack. It's amazing! I'm so fancy. There we go. That's what we're gonna need for the um, power plant key. Really loves the OPU. So, Let's rest the spell. Let's oh, if only I had ice mastery. Gosh dang it. There's a unique monster I wanna fight, but I need ice mastery for this. And look at this. We can ski, guys. Cosmos is from the, the Saga games. Tialos is from the Gears games, I think. And the Monados from the first game. As Malas points that out. Let's see. This is so beautiful, guys. Like, this blossoms? It's so good. Oh, Saga 2? Okay, I thought she was from Gears, for whatever reason. Someone must have given me that wrong info on purpose, <laughs> if that's the case. Cosmos is a ro She is an android. I know some people like to really, really be picky about uh, war choices with that. Uh, let's see, it should be around here. You're all mine. All right, you're all mine. So that's what we're gonna go ahead and grab this. You're all mine. All right, sweet. We finished the transfer one. But before I do that, before I finish all I got X H HD collection, we need an XD, we need an HD collection of everything at this point. But you know how like some corp you know how some companies are, unfortunately. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and use all these. These are just gonna chip off some points. Sweet. Boob is like I agree. There's actually a no pawn Monado and X. I did not know about that to be honest. Back in the house. It's proof. All right, how many notes did we unlock for Cosmos? Because I need Love Source at this point. That's done. Alright, sweet. Garbage tree is like, meh. Finch crew? Holy cow. Three notes. Did she say, you impress me or interesting? I never played Xenopod 2, though. I never played any of the Gears or Salga games, unfortunately. Wait, I don't remember giving him any dessert pouch items. That is weird. 
Uh, this is a side quest. Uh, let's see. That's part of our Elmo, to be honest. C Cross or Elmo for Smash? I want Pyra. Drats. Leave it to me. I know okay, the unique monster I'm looking for, though, guys. I do believe Zenobia requires it, but I'm gonna kill it because it's a, it's a weather-based unique enemy. Not mine. I like mine like a little bit um, cold. Oh, we could definitely check this out. What the frickles? And the unique monster we're looking for is actually literally across from there. Wands are nice too. Yes, they do for this, and then we could go ahead and send you back to the mission. Breeze over. Sweet. Do some of these missions too long. Remember, by the way, Praxis is the best wife, best blade. What's going on, Wolfhorn? Rice chart though. Her, her affinity chart's so weird. With the whole like kindness and whatnot and all that jazz. Four crystal, sure. All right, this is the main reason why you want the, to be blossom because. That thing will only appear during blossom weather. You gotta kill it. Yes, guys, this is required for two rare blades. I just now realized that. But if you punch him down there, he will instantly die, so. We could try to like push him off the cliff. But I don't. Oh, right, he can also heal himself, but. It's not that bad, to be honest, guys. Although, maybe I should have never done that. Overrated game is Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Bro, if you want to overrate a game, I think... Dude, I think Breath of the Wild is way overrated. Like, I do not like Breath of the Wild, to be honest, guys. I'm not a big fan of Breath of the Wild. That, that game is pacing is really bad. Sure, it's open world, but like, it doesn't give you any, like, sense of, like, direction. Where you need to go next. Ooh! Rare Core Crystals, nice, nice. I don't know why I'm getting excited for that, but... Come on, just give me them breaks. Give me a break. Give me a Kit Kat to break. Alright. What you gonna do next? Are you gonna heal up or are you gonna rest? What you gonna do? I can still milk you. I can still milk them out if I choose to do so. But yeah, Ocarina of Time is not age as well. Breath of the Wild 2 better up dungeons. I think Breath of the Wild 2 needs better navigation system. That's what they need. Wait, who? Oh, you're right. Cora launched them. Yo, that's a thick bottle. Wait. Oh, you're talking about the you're talking about these guys over here? Yeah, it is indeed. Accidentally evade. Alright. We're gonna go ahead and finish them off. Alright. Let's do this. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and finish them off in Luma. Damn! Uh Adeline just increased the treasure. Just increased the item drops. Why are you zoomed in his butt? Game is beyond me. She doesn't sock them, she punches them. She punches the things in the legs. Okay, I got a legendary core crystal of that. That's really, really what I want to do. Why would a legendary why would a master sword lose energy? That's a very good question. That's a really good question. That's a I don't understand why Breath of the Wild does that. Skyward Sword at least. Doesn't make your sword tangible, Skyward Sword. I am awake. Had over the years, like All the hard work superior. Aura, aka Skull Kid, aka Majora's Mask. Mm, a treat fit for a hero. Speaking of which, what do I have recently? Already, Nia? Spot anything interesting? There's only one Zelda game on Nintendo Switch, and it's called. You know how Nintendo Phone Bambis can be? You can never diss a Zelda game. Uh, it's nice not a true Zelda game. Cough, cough. I'll be honest though. You know, this was the great hero Adam's favorite food. Like, I have very unpopular opinions of many AAA titles. Well, a couple AAA titles like Thousand Year Door, but I look at it a completionist aspect. At least I could they go back to Thousand Year Door. an authentic mix of spices passed down for 500 years. Just, I can't do it like consistently like for 100% completion though. First time I played Breath of the Wild, I was like, this is dope. It got old kind of fast. Who made Majora's Mask? Tantal is pretty damn cold. Stands to reason that Adam would like food with a bit of kick to it, eh? 
Rumors have said that the you know the Twilight people, the Twilight descendants. Rumor has said that they made the uh, Majora's Mask. I know it was like hex magic. Explain uh, that Majora's kick. Mask. A uh, kick. Adam was into spicy stuff. Hmm. Heroes of strange tastes. Oh yeah, what's wrong with spicy stuff? I love spicy food. I had spicy chicken earlier today, and I dumped a lot of sriracha sauce. But rather rude, don't you think? Spicy food is delicious. Uh, Zelda, I guess. <laughs> don't tell me you're some kind of nabby pamby when it comes to heat. Zelda games need magic back. When was the last time Zelda had a magic and meter? What would be the problem with that? I think the last game I could think of was Twilight Princess, but I could be wrong about that. <laughs> For all your tough facade, you really are just a little kid, ain't you? Like, uh, Link's, uh, Link Between Worlds didn't have a magic meter. It had like a... Uh, I forgot what it's called, like a oh, portrait you meter or something. Shelled. You're asking for a fight. Yeah, you don't want to mess with Nia's uh, fighting poses. Hey, no need to get your ears ruffled. I'm going to get some for you, and you'll see how wrong you are. Wait, Wind Waker was the last of Magic, really? I thought Twilight Princess was. Mitra? You want some? while. Too? I know Skyward Sword doesn't have it. Oh yeah, Phantom Hourglass had Magic. Uh. I thought Twilight Princess had What's magic. Up? Um, well, you see... You see what? Adam didn't like spicy food either. What's with you guys not liking spicy food? There's nothing wrong with liking what? spicy food. Huh? So tantony has been spreading rumors. Uh, so the advertising slogan is just a lie. Yep, it's a total marketing gimmick. A load of bull, in other words. I love when Mithra says a little bull. That's really funny. Let's see, Skyward Sword was cool. You made the Master Sword. Skyward Sword didn't work out well, but I at least enjoyed it a lot more than Breath of the Wild, though. Bloody liars. The cheek of it. I had a <laughs> high red curry for dodge. That sounds really good, too. Steady on, just a second, chaps. It's not dead. I want seafood. I want some seafood, you no pawns. Seafood sounds really good right now. Huh? But Uber Eats overcharges seafood, or especially with sushi carryouts. Even if this wasn't Adam's favorite food, you've still got to hand it to them. Hand them to what? Keeping 500-year-old traditions alive is a pretty noble thing. It is indeed. So what if they did exaggerate? You know, maybe Adam had a bite when Mithra wasn't looking and thought, this is jolly tasty. Oh, he's still going on defense. We need Skyward Sword with better H, with well, HE with better controls. I think what we need right now is... Skyward Sword does need better controls, but I don't think it's like... That bad? Up, there were two complaints about Skyward Sword. Yes, motion controls was the number one. But also, it used the Metro formula, the Metrovania formula. Not it's many people time. really like that in Zola. It's nothing to me. But... Oh, you can go for some Pop-Tarts right now. He is still inside the Master Sword. I'm just saying, don't go around calling ancient it's very complicated. alive for no reason. Let's just say the Zelda fandom, although they're one of the more interesting group of people online, they are very, very um. They're not their fan base is not as bad as like some other fan bases I know, especially with um. Uh, Platoon. Okay. I see what's going on here. On the Skyward Swords. You never found Skyward Swords. Yeah, it wasn't too it wasn't that bad. Metroid Prime Trilogy HD remake. Uh no no motion controls on Metroid Prime in my opinion. I don't think they work that well. Plus you're missing that goal too. Suspicion that this might be Zeke's favorite food. Zelda timeline's messed up. I don't care about the timeline to be honest. It's just a fan theory. The fate fandom is absolutely confusing. That's also another oh, fandom. Is it your favorite well. because you believe their shtick about Adam? Like, for example, if I were to like talk about um, Thousand Year Door to the Paper Mario community or even the Mario RPG community in general, they're gonna attack me like thorns because most of them have never hundred percent in a game before. But if you'd say like, oh, I don't know, Super Paper Mario is good, then they're gonna like stab you in the throats, man. I'll be honest, guys. I really enjoyed Super Paper Mario. 
different. Even though it's very different. Infested. Is that why you took it to what? heart? What the heck? What, what the heck was that? <laughs> Pokemon fans can be bad too. Yeah, they can be bad, but I stopped playing Pokemon since after Generation Four. Like I hated the mechanics. Kid. What game series or would you say has the most confusing lore? It's a good question, what, Pixel. What's wrong with that? Two series I'm thinking of. Metroid is definitely one of the top I ones for most people. This was Adam's favorite food. Because there's like a lot of like backlashes back and forth and whatnot. But that's it's not the top one. For 500 years now. Seven Stars is a good game. I, I'd say that's the, probably one of the best Mario RPG the games out one there. Blade take that away. But Paper Mario 64 is good. Uh, Super Star Saga is good. Bowser's Inside Story is pretty good. Green Team was uh, okay. But that still doesn't change the fact that Adam didn't like spicy food. Wow. He'd never this eat the stuff like of his own volition. Stuff. Super, let's see, SMT and Persona hands on. I think Persona does have a confusing fandom too. Holy cow, do you guys know the whole about the whole Mizo Persona fan base? You're shattering my image of him, my really precious childhood innocence. Yes, they did. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, his name was Cubix. Cubix. If you had the lazy shell and lazy Don't lazy like armor, that, you're good. At, you're good as golden. You just gotta keep Gino alive somehow. With Princess Gina, Peach, of course. I'll buy you an amber cake. <laughs> yeah, the only fandom I had trouble with, well, especially when I had Twitch, was actually no. There's two. There's two fandoms. Splatoon 2 and Smash Brothers. Smash Ultimate to be specific, because England. the worst fans I've known for Nintendo fans probably is probably just Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Most of them don't have. When you enter Smash Ultimate, when you enter a Smash Tournament, so, guys, you have awakened the sealed blade. Most players will just keep grinding, and then it's just like, hey, what's going on, Omega? Long time no see, by the way. If they, if I were to attempt to describe P3 story, you'd be pretty good lost. Yeah, that's why we bit me it. I heard from my friend. She told me that Persona 3 story is very dark. That's the only thing she told me. It's I've been quite some so far. time since I last saw this place. Yeah, how you been, man? Undertale's also another bad one too, but I don't care. I love the, f I love the f uh, Undertale game though. It's a really we used good to one. Play here as children, this, you know? This, they're not open-minded. <laughs> Some characters are too OP. Inkling is the number one OP character that they still need to fix. I don't care what anyone says. Like that damage multiplier where they keep stunning you and like spamming you is so it's ridiculous. You be uh, Dormy multiple times on Tetris. Oh, that's amazing. Ness is all right. Pit is not OP. Like. The only reason why most people say Ness is OP is because people keep forever, spamming. No one ever told me why. Most people keep spamming PK fire. That's the most annoying part, I will say. And they'll do like the forward grab and then PK thunder, making sure you leave out the field and whatnot. I just hate jabbing it's though. Jabbing's are really annoying. Don't judge Harold though, but even though it's true, PK fire. They say that the blade was so powerful, its driver couldn't hope to control it. But you know, Earthbound is a really good game. Like, the fandom especially has been one of the most understandable and most flexible communities out there. Xenoblade as well, but there's some like debatables with the Xenoblade games, but Earthbound is definitely, definitely one of the uh, was most flexible. Could do. The incident was Heroes easy, if you fight and look to life. Can't do anything if you're already dead. That's true. Heroes like with that. The yeah. blade was sealed within its core crystal. Indeed. Well, Harold looks like a dragon, though. Even though she's supposed to be based off of Valkyrie. And as a warning to future generations, yeah, it was buried here in the temple where the tragedy took place. Xenoblade! Xenoblade DE! I bet you guys it's gonna come out in, like, end of spring or early summer. You mean the blade that went berserk is... Charizard is so overrated. That's true. I I don't. They they haven't officially announced it. They said sometime next year, 2020. Your suspicions are uh, correct. The blade was Harold. 
If I were to guess though, probably end of spring or su or beginning summer. That's my guess. Charizard is so overrated. I don't care about Charizard. I have no memory of the event, but I believe it to be I'll tell Charizard 4. Uh, let me see. Charizard is just... I'm fine with it. I just don't like Ty... Okay, I like Typhlosion, but I think people who say Chikorita is the weakest starter of Generation 2 is sadly mistaken. Miltake is like a very good example of why Chikorita is really good <laughs> when you go against Whitney's. I feel something. People just don't like it because it's overrated. That's the only a reason. Kind of limitless power dwelling within me. Brautogaler, it would be considered Gen. Well, it's the best Gen two start in the remix, but Chikorita wins it by by almost four deaths. I've done starter runs only before, but oh no, but Xenoblade X. Most people don't like it because exploration, probably. Like Your Majesty, you may punish the healing mechanics. You see fit. The healing mechanics the number one complaint I get. Are you here about about X? Even if it means breaking my core crystal into a thousand pieces and burying me for all eternity. No, Harold, you're like one of the best waifus in the game though. So good that actually <laughs> Ash actually evolved it. Yeah, definitely. But Chikorita gets some really good movesets in gold, silver, and crystal. Poison powder, synthesis, reflect, body slam. But you take out Reflect after you be Bugsy, and you replace that with like Body Slime and whatnot. See, so yeah, I think Soul Silver, Soul Voice Healing is dope. I think most people are so debatable with uh, keep you in check. I'll keep you in check. But Sword and Shield, I heard so many mixed things about it. So eh, we'll, see. we'll see. I just know the game Town has really bad ratings compared to we uh. <laughs> Ring Fit Adventure, which it looks really fun. I'm not gonna lie. I might. I'm probably just gonna buy that game. Uh, Ring Fit Adventure. Why isn't that got some high reviews? Five notes worse than one. So eh. I've only played X for twenty minutes. I believe your driver trusts you deeply. That's why we open you to Zeke. There's a very good reason why. And I trust your driver just the same. Because, um, he's your son. Even if you had some recollection of the past, you need not dwell on it. I've I played twenty minutes of it, but don't let yourself it's just very be different. chained to the past. Become your driver's strength. Okay, that's all I ask. But still, I have to atone somehow. I understand how you feel. But you must remember that there are many ways to atone for one's sins. I don't say, let's say it's bad because it's funny. Aiding your driver in the fierce battles to come is one such way. One such way. In my Pokemon gaming career, I have 9,001 loss. How do you keep you track of so? it? Wait, which game do you keep track of it? Because uh, I know there's like the whole battle records and whatnot. Yeah, we need you help. I mean, Sword and Shield have the the Teapot Pokemon and the Curry Pokemon. What's wrong? What's so wrong about that? <laughs> what happened happened, but now we want you on our side. Come with us. Well, I've seen the gameplay of Town though, like very All recently, because right. it came out just yesterday. It it's it's so bad. Okay. It's very slow too. Worry not. Whatever happens, just remember, you have an esteemed driver by your side. Don't forget the pristine player, because I control this game. Your Majesty, thank you. Yeah, people have been complaining. Like Town has a very like Town has a lower rating than Ring Fit Adventure. Everyone's buying Ring Ring Fit Adventure because it's somehow like the quote unquote exercise revolution. Uh uh. Think nothing of it. I expect great things of you. Yeah, Pokemon's not about graphics, but it's about like it's just recopying pasting formulas. I think what makes itself apart though. 
Yeah, Town is a Game Freak game. That is correct. But like, if you look at the reviews, especially on Metacritic, it's got like around like 65 or something. Where if you look at compared it to like We Fit Adventure, that game has got like 78 out of Metacritic. So that's. But I don't own the game. But game, but Game Explain. I think it was Game Explain or Game or Nintendo Life. One of those two uh, news channels. They did not like. They did not enjoy playing Town. At all, so there's that. Can't wait to fight again. They're not telling every. They're not telling everything on like Sun and Moon. Sun and Moon, I've I've only reached up to like Gen Four, so I want to know. I I didn't enjoy Diamond and Pearl though, so maybe I'm just a weird one. Garbage free, you're back. Oh, do you support Art Carly now? Because that's the main catchphrase of that show. I'm just saying, guys. Yalos. She's gonna take a long time to do it. Alright, Fog is back with the crew. Gen 7 wasn't good, no gems. I think Gen 4 is what ruined the experience for me. Let's send them up to get the game, and we don't even know if the story of evils. That's also true, too. Isn't Sword and Shield coming out like next month or so? It's less than a month to the game and we don't even know the starters, evos. All I know is that we have a Trix Bunny, we have a Green Monkey, which to me I think looks the best. And we have a sappy, sad, depressing frog. Is that a frog? I can't remember what it was. I remember it was like very teary though. Godfrey is I can't really confirm. <laughs> Leave it to me. There's also Muscle Girl. That's also true too. I don't want to see their evil ev evolution. I want to be surprised. That's a, you can try to avoid them. The spoilers. Analysis systems upgraded. Wait, really? She only needs 3,800 for trust. Wow, you can easily outsource that. I think that's what we're gonna focus on the next two streams. But yeah, it's like. There's a lot of interesting reviews about town. Let's just say that one. It's I know it's like a place to be like a car game or something, but it's like if you're they say that if you're looking for a JRPG game, this is pretty handy. RPG game, then it's like look somewhere else or something. I don't know. Only 40 minutes. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Everyone's different, of course. Yeah, but we can all agree that Superman 64 is a really bad game, bro. But looks like I can only send this guy. Buff. No sar sarcasm here. It's like this. Superman 64 is like driving. You can't go the pirate unless you, unless you're like me. <laughs> got a lot done today. We got, all, we got amazing things to accomplish. Let's see. The theory is that Elvis is on us, but it can't be true. I don't know 100%, but I think after doing some, after doing some like information searching, guys. I do think Elvis is on to us, but like, uh, maybe they'll explain it in uh, Xenoblade, Xenoblade HD, I don't know. Anything can go at this point. Love this. I love this controller. Alright, current objective. Give one bracer to Noel, Noel and Fonza. What the frickles? Alvis was a computer, but the computer, tr but the Trinity system was also a computer too, which is the three Monados. Numa is technically a... all the blades really like the Aegises are computers as well. If you guys think about it. And oh, okay, we're not that far away. Let's get Sweet. Going. This is Arch. Oh no, this is not Argentum. It's all a simulation. Question mark. The humans are humans too, since they were created by nanobots. We're all robots. Secretly in disguise. Did you guys know? Wait, where? It says according to the map that she's around here somewhere. Or wherever this is. Machines. Nanobots. I mean, nanobots, machines. Same thing. Maybe they're in. in. Wait, let's see. Might be in the inn actually. I'm not 100 percent sure. I know for sure I bought most of your stuff. That's a quest but that's a quest item. Oh, there he is. I should have known he was on top. Oh, me to explain. 
I love how like more needs to explain a lot of things. I don't know why. All right, report back. All right. Okay, we got Atlas there. Okay, I don't really care about Atlas until we finish Cassandra's thing. All right, this is the very sad cutscene, guys. I'm gonna shut up. Or at least I thought it was. Oh yeah, this is the very this is the cutscene. Hold on, my belly's starting to rumble. Oh goodness, is it that late already? Don't worry, I won't be ten minutes. I'll make enough for everyone. So, what's on the menu today? I'll give you three guesses. An auto, an oh, all right. I'll play along. Could it be dumplings? Spot on. Her specialty. This is a pretty sad cut. You guys won't know why. You all right there, man? Yes, uh, don't you worry. Just a pesky little like... cough. Okay, She's a sweet lass, good. isn't she? Very different looking robots. Totally, and a cooking's top notch. If making of dumplings is same as cooking. She is perhaps a little misguided at times, but her love and compassion cannot be faulted. She a loyal right. blade. My life never amounted to much, to be honest with you. I did some reckless things in my time, all to be the center of attention. And every time I bungled something up, Vess and the kids would suffer for it somehow. But Vess, uh, she stuck by my side all the same. Rip. She took the role of my dearly departed, bless her soul, and started looking after the kids for me. She's become a part of the family now. I don't know what we'd do without her. This is pretty sad. <laughs> and that's why... I just want her to have a good life. Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Are you all right? He's all right. I'm fine. I just need to lie down for a bit. That seems like the best course of action. Let me just close my eyes a moment. My bum? He wasn't a clue to like, screw up. He better with himself a rare blade. That is true. Rest in peace, man. Rest in peace. He just wanted to enjoy eating his favorite foods before he died. That's what happened. He's dead. Rip. This man sleeps beyond the flow of time. And then he's the reincarnation of Zanza. Alright. That's like, that's a way over exaggeration. <laughs> Even though I have not gone that far in the game at all, it's still, um... I still know, I didn't spoil to death for that game. But there we go guys, we got another self for another rare blade. She won't be able to be reawakened right away though, that's the thing. But we will open Horror Cor Crystal tomorrow. He's the true, most powerful being. The greediness of... Why on it? I don't know how that quote look. I don't know how that quote goes though. Oh, Jolly Joy. Okay, that has been completed. We're gonna get. We're gonna do this like was pronto tomorrow. Okay, Electra's awakening. For those of you who are very curious. Such a little kid. I don't think she's the youngest though. She reminds me of Pichu. I don't know why. Pichu, this is like a Pichu rare blade right here. And she 
you know, she knocked out a, a hammer of Thor, guys. I don't know how things will turn out, but I'll do my best. Is that wait, is that the shotting gun on her ha hammer? I just now noticed that. <laughs> Alright, so that's Electro's Awakening. Not that impressive. Just just a little kid dancing around. Nothing too special. Alright, Cosmos is awakened. This is probably the one that everyone's been waiting for. Go ahead and watch it. Vector? Really has a really hard time shouting. Definitely agree with that. He can't scream until chapter 10. He sucks at controlling a hand! Cosmos. A big, strategic, multiple operation system. Ooh, this looks really awesome. All systems operational. Trust me, you do not want to mess with this blade. Are you my master? Yeah, call me Data Pawn. <laughs> hey, she asked, guys, but that hand was creepy, and Electro can't control her electricity like Pichu. That's Azami's quest is all right. No, stop. No data pump for you. I mean, she called, hey, hey, I'm her master. She says, are you my master? She said, heck yeah, because we've been pulling you out before we pulled Ursula. <laughs> uh, zombie side quest, we're going to do that like a little bit later. Zenobia is, a, Zenobia is like amazing though. I like Zenobia. Just I don't like her affinity chart side quest. All right, guys. So we got a lot done tomorrow uh, today. Tomorrow's stream at 5 o'clock Pacific time. I might go a little bit live half hour earlier, but it depends on the circumstances because I got a lot of homework due. To I got a lot of homework due on Monday. And I got to start studying for midterms and whatnot, but... Tomorrow's stream, late infinities, a little bit of item farming, but we're going to be focusing on Wolfric's infinity chart. We saw the Legendary Blades Awakening. I mean, we, we, did, we did watch the uh, Legendary Blades Awakening just now. That's what I have planned tomorrow. Um, I'm not 100% exactly confident how far we're going to get some of the stuff done because Merc missions take higher priority. So there's that. And we're going to do some more side quests heavy. But Rare Blades is what's going to come first. But that's why I combine it with item farming. So that's that, guys. Oh, like, oh, oh, Legendary. Oh, sorry. Not Rare Blades. Legendaries. Mithra. Dromok. Pandoria, uh, Pope, Alpha, Cutie Pie, or Cutie, and all those rare blades. Yeah, man. Oh, guys, if you enjoyed the Nintendo content, seriously consider giving it a follow because I do mostly only Nintendo stuff on this channel. Yeah, man, Goob, thank you so much for stopping in. Great talking to you at uh, long last. The Frosty RB. All I gotta say is, guys, stay chilly, keep gaming. We'll see you guys in tomorrow's stream where I keep getting frustrated with Ursula's pulls.